Hello guys and welcome back to part 10 of Dragonstein the Dark Eye. We're back with more adventures as we return from the Moor Bridge Marshes. We are now tasked with returning a book from the ruins in the Blood Mountains. But first, I want to check if we have some work to do for the uh, uh, companies here, the rival companies in the harbor. So let's go visit our buddies at the store brand company. See if uh, they have anything for us. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that elves do not own boats, so they don't know the names for these. Uh, okay, so there's no one here to give us some work. In that case, I will. I'll go ahead and presume that we have nothing to do you are most for them. Please take a look around at the legendary selection of the store brand trading firm's goods. Of course. Let's see. Uh, Ring of Agility. Whoa. And this stuff is expensive. <laughs> and we don't really need it now, do we? Mm. Let's see if we have something to learn. Like, I uh, do want to learn some combat abilities for my main guy over here, Hank. And there's uh, just the trainer that I'm looking for right here. Let me see how many points I have. 1,389, right. More than enough, I would say. Sergeant Erland, sir. Teach me some skills. Some close combat practice, perhaps? Of course, let's see what I can learn from you. Okay, so let me see. I've learned offensive combat and defensive combat. I can learn faint, mighty blow, and its swords. Um, so I kind of want to stay on using axes. So yes, I will learn faint and mighty blow and knockback. Master Parry. A parry or dodge maneuver will uh, be succeeded automatically during the next 15 combat rounds. Uh, yeah. I kind of feel, find this useful. Roundhouse. Mm, I don't know what to say about this. I kind of want to let Forgrim do this thingy. Because he is much more proficient on it with his... Uh, uh, two-handed axe, uh, armor use, yes, and shield use, yes. Uh, let me teach Rulana as well, armor use, and shield fighting as well. Mm, she needs strength 13 to be able to use armor. And we won't be teaching her to use a shield. Speak, friend. How about Gwendala here? Um, armor use, strength 12, endurance. Okay, so she needs constitution 12 and strength 12. She only needs strength 13, so let's go ahead and give her strength 13. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, she needs way more. 
Uh, strengthen this. Okay, so let's give her Constitution 13. And let's increase her other stats. Interrupts the battle. Yeah, I find this to be useful. Oops. Hmm. I cannot... Ah! <laughs> Get it? Yeah, because I'm streaming this from another device. Um. I cannot increase this. Or can I? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well, it is what it is. Mm, Thunderbolt? Yep. And I think... No, let's... Uh... Let's give her some more bow damage. And can I really not? Yeah, uh, I cannot. Mm. Increase this and maybe so she knows how to lay traps. Follow me. Okay, let's see here now. Mm, armor used to. Yep. There we go. Perfect. And she will be able to... Constitution 12. Wait, did I not? She has 13. Oh, wait, no. I increased her courage, not her constitution. Whoops, my bad. Ah, it is what it is then. It's no biggie. Uh, okay, so let me just let me do that. Uh, give her. Wait, does she have any talents in Boyery? Only two Listen compared up, to fourteen on Rulana here. Let me do that. Let's see what other abilities I can learn from. For her knockback sabers. Okay, I can learn knockback. I don't know what other thing I learned. What was selected? Not anyway. It's fine. Might have selected something else as well. Okay, so where. Is that put this here? Uh, I'm gonna actually sell this because I'm not going to use her uh, boyery skill anymore. All right. Hmm. Instead, I'm going to use her as my main archer. I'm going to change Shurulana and get Forgrim instead. Right. Uh, that should be just fine for now. Maybe just increase some of these stats a bit. Uh, yep. And this one. And accept. Mm, 
And let me get my combat abilities here. Um, I might need to replace some of these. So let me just put this down here. I'm going to change that up later. It's fine. Mm, Sintry and pure. Uh, nope. Nope. Gonna put this here. And what else? What else? What else? Okay, so mm. there we go. Okay, and for the combat abilities, wait, which one do I have here? Okay, so dexterity, agility, constitution, and this one. Okay, I'm gonna put this one here, this one here, and this one here, and this one here. And it's perfect. Okay, no more points to increase anything. Let me do nice. This. Okay, this is way better. No, me too. Uh, actually, remove this. Yep, leave it like that. Mm. Hi. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is better. Let's summon the Wolfie. There we go. And let's see about some weapons. I'm thinking that the inventory for the merchants did not change. So I'll only have the same old, same old, yep. Yeah. Same armor as last time. Nothing new. There is... Someone that I can buy new armor and weapons from in the new area where we'll be going. However... If I remember correctly, I will need to choose the path where I battle the witches instead of helping them. Let me quickly just go uh, to my house. And uh, change Rulana for Forgrim. And we should be good to go from there. There we go. Hmm, well, according to me sleeping. <laughs> ah, there you are at last. My word, but you do have a beautiful house. A beautiful house. This is just perfect for my studies. Perhaps I can be of assistance to you with my uh, knowledge. Your Magnificence, could I ask you something else? Certainly, certainly, please do. The crystal I find you found in Mordbridge, may I ask what you need it for, Master Accordium? 
Uh, not right now, uh, no, my research is uh, still at the early stages. My colleagues will be amazed, uh, but there is still a lot to do. Do you understand? An important discovery like this will... Uh... Ah, you wouldn't understand. Yes, yes. Mm, no. You're slipping standing, my guy. But oh well. Greetings. I can't tell you how thankful I am to have escaped from that horrible marsh. My condolences again for Rufus. Ah, poor Rufus. If only he had uh, escaped the clutches of the undead. Thank you for your sympathy. Uh, have you made any progress in your research on the mysterious feces crystal? Not yet, I'm afraid. Master Aquarium has some rather unusual research methods. Mm-hmm. And by unusual research methods, you mean sleeping on the job. Okay, let's leave all the ingredients here. Uh, I can sell those, actually. Uh, Goldman Leaf. Uh, Beltram, Ownberry, Toadstool. I'm going to sell these as well. Fire Moss. Uh, I'm gonna keep the whirlweed as bandages. Give this to uh, my other guy, the rogue. The trainer. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Oops. My bad. Uh, put this here, put this here, put this here. Uh, ah, nope. Let me have this here. There we go. Hey, Draenor, where are you? Oh, let me actually first... Oh, uh, where was the, uh... I think, yeah, this this was the one. Yes, you'll take care of that. Uh, keep that, keep that. Uh, leave this here, this, 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 this. Perfect. You have anything to leave here? No, you do not. I'm gonna need to make some arrows as well, or buy them. I hope Selena's all right. I'm a little concerned about leaving her on her own like that, but she doesn't want my protection anymore. The heroic deeds of the Elven Master Marksman Tenobal are still celebrated in the songs and poems of Aventuria. He competed in the Garifian Royal Tournament eight times, and it's said to have split his best opponent's arrow straight down the middle. Oh, like Robin Hood. <laughs> Tenobal never introduced himself by name, and he, has, uh, he was known to his human rivals as the Red Arrow. Right then. Interesting, interesting. interesting. Uh, let me just put this here. Uh, do I need anything else from Urulana here? I don't think so. I'm going to take the wound powder. Thank you very much. Just like that. And I'm going to... Hmm. What should I... I'm going to increase your willpower for future use. And the traps, because you will be needing those. I'm going to use her mm, in other situations, but not right now. Here's her dexterity. Yeah, because it's good to have a good dexterity when placing traps. Yeah, it's perfect like that. So let me just go talk to her. Vyrondra, what do you want? 
Rulana, please wait for me at my Ferdok's oh, residence. Well, then, as you wish. I shall wait for you there. But I am only doing this because you asked me to. Right. Okay. Let's go talk to Draenor here. Give him the new sword. Well, well, how can good old Draenor <laughs> He looks so creepy with the light uh, beneath his face. Come with me, Draenor. <laughs> Follow me. I'm gonna take this, thank you. Oh wow, quite a bit of points you've gathered here. But I'm not gonna use you right now. You can just stay here. Just wanted to give you the nice shiny rapier. Oh well, have it your way. I'll wait for you there. Yes, you will. Ha ha ha. Okay, let me check. Okay, her armor is okay. Ish. Could have been better, but oh well. You know what? I can actually get her some uh, arm graves. I'm just gonna buy those for her. Gonna take four grim here. What is it? Come with me, for Grim. We have things to do. Leave that to four Grim. Uh, let me check his def defensive stats. Okay, so I can teach him armor too. Yeah, so let's go do that. And what about his inventory? Oh wow, yeah, some uh, some stuff to be sold as well. Just leave some of his stuff here. Okay, let's go gear up properly. Uh, we're gonna hover to call Citadel. Yep. It's quite handy to have this map there, to use it for a quick tra fast travel. Where the blazes is my relief. When the blazes is my relief. My post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come and uh, help that guy in a bit. He has uh, quite a peculiar uh, request for us to take his post while he goes to relieve himself. And we gotta stop certain individuals from entering the city while he's away. Okay, so that's considered a spear. That's a single-handed battle axe. Gonna buy those. Because we will be needing it. Uh, bronze Graves. Yep. All right. Uh, right. Let's go get some arm graves for. Uh... Wait, is her name Gwendala? Yeah, Gwendala. Glad to see Gwendala. What a lovely pair. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, leather arm graves. Yep. Because I don't think we can find something better such as this. I mean, we could just Sanya. swoosh and right. swoosh, <laughs> just like that. But she's lacking the... the oh, wait, hold up. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> okay. A dwarf stands by his word. Uh, right. 
Let me go sell these clothes to this guy here. The Dwarven gloves cover both uh, the arm graves and the gloves section, so I can't really equip him uh, with that without sacrificing a good slot. Dress gloves, yeah. Race restriction dwarf can have that. Oh, wait. He still has one bloody axe to sell. There we go. Hi. Let's her sell her old clothes as well. And the staff of Valonian, maybe? Mm, yeah, gonna sell this. We don't need it. Oh, Wolfie died. Follow me. Uh, let's go teach Forgrim the use of armor at the second rank. And then we will be getting more arrows. Okay, so four gram. Do, do, do. Armor use two. Learn ability. Yes, lovely. Uh, master parity, don't need it. Faint. Can you use faint to handed swords? No, can't use faint on uh, two handed uh, hammers and axes. Okay, so let's see here. Um, increase this level, yes. Increase his willpower, his blacksmithing, his dwarf nose. Uh, his courage as well. Or not. I can increase his vitality more. Mm, streetwise, don't need it. What can we use? Let's see here. Dexterity intuition. I could increase, yeah, his dexterity to affect his dwarf nose. And his perception as well. Maybe. Why not? Mm, just a seven. And I'm going to leave it, leave it at that. Hmm, 692. I could increase the haggle with one more point, yeah. Her vitality. Uh, pickpocket is at max. Lockpicks, max. Disarm traps, increase this, yes. We do need this. Armor use. She only knows faint. Well, we can't, can't learn anything else that can be used with the dagger from this area, so... Increase her willpower. All right. <laughs> I'm the power to see this. <laughs> I mean, we could. Just we will have an even number. I'm one with the moment. You're one with the moment. Yes, you are. Okay, let's see where can we get some arrows from. Maybe this person? Feel free to. Uh, nope. Wait, I remember there was a merchant that was selling those here. Yep. Master Magnosh. Are you here? 
Oh, this is to just learn. Oh, leveling points. Oh, I can learn marksman. Okay. So, good thing to know. Uh, no arrows. No. Oh, he only sells crossbow related stuff. I see. Right. In that case, we need to oh, yeah. go back to the prayer square. But before we do that, let's go help that guard over there. So he can finally go and <coughs> relieve himself. Yeah, I'm gonna sell some of the stuff as well. Uh, let's send this rapier. And I'm gonna sell the wolf rat tails to the barkeep what i'm gonna do is basically deny entrance to anyone that looks suspicious and in accordance to the description that the guard will give us Where the blaze is your relief. Thank prayers. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're a Hank a thousand, aren't you? This is really embarrassing, but I really need to go and the next watch isn't here yet. I can't hold it much longer. Uh, could you take over the watch for a moment? It'll be a child's play for a person who solved those murders. Please, I'll be real quick. Very well, I'll keep a uh, watch here while you're go, but hurry up. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you won't have uh, to do much. Just make sure no shitty characters get into the city. Right now, we're on the lookout of, for a deceitful con man who gets uh, into the homes of the rich by posing as a craftsman. He has a very uh, distinctive mustache. That rogue is at the top of our list. Then there's the vixen. She has blue eyes and fiery red hair. To which she owes her nickname. Do not let her into the city under any circumstances. She's crafty. She's a crafty con artist. Oh, there's uh, one other fellow who's always starting fist fights uh, at the silver pitcher. Burly, puffed up face, a big nose. <laughs> oh, I uh, can't hold much longer. I have to go. You'll be okay. Yeah. Go relieve yourself, good man. Hurry up. I'll stay on guard here. All praise to the twelve gods. May I enter? Hmm, let's see here. What's your name? Traven Pelt. What is your business in the city? I'm meeting uh, with Squire Pinewood to discuss his fields. I'm his foreman. Do you have any goods to declare? No, I have uh, nothing on me, as you can see. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You're the fellow who's always uh, causing trouble in the silver pitcher. What? What are you talking about? That's impossible. I've never even been there. I don't have enough spare cash. The man doesn't seem to be lying. Forgive me. Oh, uh, you just uh, look a bit like him. You may pass. Human nature. See if in the first description fits, you're under arrest. Burly nose, puff chest, yeah. No. I'm not lying, I've never been to save the picture, period. I'll save it, I'm not interested. I'm just here to talk to Squire Pinewood about his fields. He's uh, not to be trifled with, I'm already late. Just let me pass. I'm supposed to believe that? Damn it, I'm in a hurry. Look at the letter he sent me. It bears the Pinewood seal. I'm his foreman, curse it all. Oh well, that's a different matter. I must have made a mistake. Forgive me, you may pass. You certainly did a mistake. Square Pinewood will not be happy about this. I can tell you. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Please move. Okay, better be safe than sorry. Now they're posting deputy guards at the city gates. Unbelievable. Would you allow me to pass? What's your name? Odilon Mason. This city. Work at the harbor. Do you have any goods to declare? Couple of tools. Halt, are you a craftsman? As you can see, yes. Have you been working in Ferdak recently? That's right, why do you ask? We're looking for corners posting as craftsman. And you're a craftsman and you fit the description. 
please, do I look like a rogue? I'm expected at the harbor. I don't want to be late. Well, except for the outfit that can easily be changed into something more stealthy. Yes, you do look like a rogue. They say the suspect only had a mustache. Uh, no, now that I think of it, you can't be who we're looking for. Distinct muscle. It makes an honest impression. You're right. You don't look like a rogue. I'm fine. You're doing uh, your job, and now I want to do mine. I really have to get going. You may pass. I'd like to enter this beautiful city. Mm -hmm, yeah, this is the vixen. I mean, that guy may have been the uh, con artist. Like he. The, say, the guard said that he does have a recognizable mustache, but that guy had a full set of beard, but then again, we'll see what's what. Again, I haven't been playing this for a good amount of time, and my memory isn't as best as it was. <laughs> Perdia Gadwen, what is your business in this city? I'm visiting relatives at the Temple of Prayers. Do you have any ghosts to declare? No, you can see for yourself. Wait a moment. You are the con artist known as the Vixen. You may not enter the city. Just a minute yourself. What makes you think that? The description fits and my wolf companion died again. The Vixen, what kind of stupid nickname is that? I don't care. You're a crafty con artist with no business in further. That's all that interests me. Take a look at me. Is this what the con artist looks like? I just want to visit my relatives in the city. Or is it that a crime now? I thought of her, she's actually quite an impressive person, don't worry. It's not just the town guard who talk about you. Mm, she's expected this guy, she's lying. You're not fooling me at all, the game's up. Oh really, and what do you intend to do with me? Quite simple, I'm not letting you in. Those are the orders. Uh -huh. You're not even the town guard, so stop putting on airs and let me through. Well, how would you like to continue the discussion uh, from a prison cell? <laughs> how charming you are. I don't scare so easy. I'll just find another way in. Oh, that felt so good. Thanks for your help. Okay. Anything unusual to report? Yes, a woman answering your description of the con artist wanted to get into the city. She didn't seem quite right to me, so I didn't let her pass. Uh, that must have been Perdia, the vixen. Well done. The woman is well known in the town as con artist. I'm glad I could help. Many thanks. I'm in your debt, but I'd better get back to my duties in case someone else gets in who is supposed to. Good day to you. Okay. Good. And that's done. Changing of the guard. Wait. That's me. Hold up. I will. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, okay, I've already pickpocketed him before. It would seem he had nothing to offer. Okay, I think we are good to go and return to the prayer square and then go to the next region that was a splendid idea don't you think brothers indeed brother indeed there's someone coming hey you there interested in a game hmm yes let's see play around and win what do you say what kind of game are you playing a game of chance a game of speed a game that requires your concentration exactly Pay close attention and you will win. You look like someone with a sharp mind. Do you like to win? What do you say? Explain the rules first and then I'll decide. Very well. The three of us stand in a row. Then we run around. Then we stand in a row again. If you can pick me out again, then you double your wages. So what do you say? One ducket to play. Want to play around? Okay, so we basically just gotta find the middle guy each and every time and we win the game. But there's a catch, and you'll see it. I knew you wouldn't disappoint us. I'm Borlocks. To my right is Balash, and to my left is Bugul. As I said, pick me out and you win. Okay, so 
to his right, so our left is Barash, and to his left, so our right is Bugul. So Barash, Bollocks, and uh, uh, Bugul. Okay, very well. I shall watch carefully, Barlocks. Quite right, let's go. So, zip, 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 then dunk. Here's the middle one again. Am I the one or aren't I? Your Barlocks. Alright, you found me. You paid close attention, stranger. Here are your winnings. Two ducats. What do you say? Another game? Yes, another game. True game stuff. <laughs> game stuff. <laughs> you win if you find me, Barlocks. Place your bet, please. I'm ready. Here's the money. Let's go. Again. And here's the middle one again. Am I the one or aren't I? Oops, wrong. Can't you tell us apart? And that's the catch. I am Bollocks. What do you say? Another game? Hmm, there's something fishy going on. You're cheating. What an accusation. <laughs> we are honest people. You're definitely cheating. I was uh, watching carefully. I'm going to report you to the guard. Who knows how many people that you've cheated out of their hard-earned money. Uh, oh no. We're just playing a little joke on you. Please don't call the guard. We'll give you your money back. I hope so. Don't uh, uh, let me catch you again, otherwise I'll report you. It won't happen again, we promise. Here's your money. Come, let's go to the Temple of Asinda. Yay! It's off to the fairground we go! Hurrah, hurrah! Perhaps we'll find a few keen players there. Not so loud, good brother. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> the little feet running around. <laughs> There they are again. <laughs> right. So let's see about some arrows. Uh, come in. I have everything that has anything to do with. It would. Yes, I know. That's precisely why I'm here, good sir. Oh, a hundred. No. Uh. Yep. Let me just buy... I think like 500 arrows should suffice for now. Yes? No? Uh, pitch torch. Yep. Uh, that's good on that front. Uh, let's see what... Hunter Wolfing. Do you wish to learn... As for us, uh, uh, nothing impressive. I'm just gonna Do you sell him these giant crab spinsers. Okay. And let me also go and sell the uh, wolf rat tails to the uh, uh, what you call it the cook at the silver pitcher. Hmm. Mm. 
Oh, it's special dark. Endurance plus 15. War targets? Nah. I can craft that if anything. It's you again! It's you, you have again. something for Yes. Rat tails. <laughs> he was raging. <laughs> ah, poor guy. Ah, basically got another ducket out of it. Which ain't bad. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah, uh, always used to use uh, tab to access the inventory in new games. Uh, okay, so alchemy. Ah, uh, special dark. I can take these. Weapon bomb, salt fat, poison fang. Hmm. Oh, but I don't have the table, so uh, let me just quickly talk to caretaker Mudalmush and order these tables for 50 At your service. ducats each. One more question, Mudalmush. Uh, I saw a locked door at the top floor of a strange lock. What's behind it? Oh, that was a master sports talk study. He often stayed in there deep in the night, studying his writings. He also did a lot of work for the regent in there, which is why the room was always locked. I remember he always carried the key with him. What happened to the key? It wasn't on our door. The key has gone. Uh, da -da -da. They told me when my companions are in the house, uh, more about building. Da -da -da. About the workbenches, I could do with the blacksmith workbench. Yep. Okay, order that one. Building about the workbenches, alchemist one. Yeah. And. Boyer's workbench. And that leaves us at uh, merely 25 ducats <laughs> as we spend 150 <laughs> on those. And the alchemy table, blacksmith, and the boyer one is still yet right. to be deployed. Hold up. Give me your fartings, good sir. Good. Give me your money. <laughs> I'm robbing the workers out of their hard earned pay. Easy. Because why not? Right then, let me, uh. Get all of these and let's see here. Okay, so I can make some special dark. Uh, let me make 10 of those. Salve of healing. Heal wounds plus five. I can actually just use the whirlweed for that. Uh, Health potion. Mm, I could make some, but almond tea, what more? Orberry juice, plus fifteen vitality. Hmm. Spring water. Let me make ten of these. Cleverness. 
Immunity to lightning find you. Courage elixir, immunity to unconscious. I'm trying to think if I need some special Mm, special elixirs for the next area, but I don't think so. Then again, I can return at all times and make some more. Oh, weapon balm. Let me make three of these. Vitality regeneration. Yeah, no, I'm good on that. Okay. Let me leave the ingredients here now. Alright. Uh sell those. Get these here. Leave that to four. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Okay. I think we're about ready to go. Actually my very best. Let me use uh Orgrim here and see what he can actually make whetstones. I can actually make some whetstones yeah. if anything. Because why not? Yeah. Oh, only one? Yeah, I need more sandstone. Might need to buy some more of that, but. Uh, this was more of a preparation video for the uh, next area. Because we do need to do that every once in a while. But, with that being said, let's be on the road. Saved, and we need to go to the Blood Mountains. Let's see if we get a combat encounter along the way. Oh, yes, we do. An unexpected encounter has interrupted your journey. Fight! <laughs> Let's see what we get to fight now. Ooh, spooky. Fireflies. Uh, okay, let me just... Collect the plants while I'm here. Because you never know when you need some. Oh, what's this? Uh, John Chinis? The juice from uh, the large leaves of this plant can be used to treat burns caused by either fire or chemicals. It is used both in processed and unprocessed form. Okay, so this can be used to treat fire. Uh, fire burns? Like. You can make some self that can treat the, uh, the uh, and actually stop completely the effect of uh, burning. And that's going to come in just handy later on. Okay, perfect. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the fastness of body over here. 
Okay. Uh, That's me. Okay, you should be fine. You should be fine. Uh, let me just put some constitution on the dog over here. Oh, the fireflies are uh, this way, and there's a ogre. All right, and he already saw us. So, ooh, big boy. -oh. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, is this a... Uh... No, that's oh damn no, never mind. That's not a metallic weapon. It's a, it's a stone. Tight into a wooden piece. Uh, let's see here. A dwarf stands by his word. Ha! Yeah, I think we need something that prevents us from being knocked down. Then again, he should have parried that, but I don't know if... Uh... Speak, friend. I don't know if that helps against uh, being knocked down. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and he's down. Nice. 10 plus scraps. I can actually... Give those to Gladys here. Yes, follow you. Heal yourself, darling. Perfect. Uh, let me actually see what does this do. 25% chance of wounds. Right. Oh, only two fireflies. I could have sworn there were more. Oh no, there were more. They were just hidden. <laughs> Chunky fireflies. Pretty chunky fireflies. Do I not have the necessary level to skin those and get the poison sacks from them? Hmm, interesting. Let me compare. No, oh, no. Only 11. No, that's not nearly enough. Let me increase our astral energy. There we go. Mm, let's carry on. Big fella. <laughs> Get all these plants from this nice little improvised garden here.
a chest. Oh, okay. Some alchemy reagents, nice. Uh, what else, what else we have here? Okay, very good. Mm. Let me see if I find any hidden stashes, any hidden chests, treasures and the like. A metal spider. Okay. Yeah. It pays off to look around, as always. Well, let me actually increase the constitution of everyone involved here. Because that's always good to have, right? There we go. Let me attack him from range as well as I'll try my very best. Orax. Onward. Okay, casting some effects. Magic. There we go. Nice. <laughs> I like the little dance on the uh, foreground there. <laughs> Funny. Okay. And we have more plants together. Mm, where, where, where? Oh, here. Is that a chest? Yes, that's a chest. My eyes do not deceive me. Oh, and that's the exit. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, take that at the end. Let me first grab all the plants here. This ring toadstool. Oh, that's a fairy circle. Uh, where is this? Hello? Plant? Plant is hidden. What the? F oh, there it is. Hiding in a bush. Yeah, see? Fairy circle. And it has uh, healing properties. <laughs> Just as the legend goes. Perfect. Okay, and let's go take that chest from over here. Then be on our merry way. Now, 
some wood. I'm gonna give this to Gwendola. Okay, take, continue journey. Okay, and as we have reached the new area, guys, I'm going to leave part 10 right here. And we'll continue our journey within the next few days, hopefully. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the series so far. It really helps me a lot, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.